And for more on that Amazon call and AI, we have Brett Phil, analyst at Jefferies, as well as Steve and Julia. Brent, let me begin with you. Where is, I mean, we hear a lot about ChatGPT, OpenAI, Microsoft, Google. Where's Amazon in this race? Hey, Tyler, Amazon's in a fantastic position. If you look at the enterprise, they are the cloud leader. They own a $85 billion run rate with AWS with the majority line share of the cloud market, Microsoft being number two, Google being number three. So when you have that data, you have an advantage. Today, they have over 20 different AI services. They were the last ones to join the PR party, but we think that ultimately behind the scenes, they have an incredible technology advantage because they have the data and they have the users on the enterprise side. And then if you look at the consumer, they have all the data, what we've ordered, what we've not ordered, what's our delivery preferences for advertisers. Advertisers now have access to this information and the advertising platform is far superior than Walmart or Target. You, you start to layer in things like Prime Video there's an incredible opportunity. We were having, an, we had an Amazon day this week with our clients and seven experts. And one expert said, even their investment in autonomous, the acquisition of Zooks, imagine a car that picks you up. You forgot to, to get some, uh, what it, whatever the item is, Amazon can load it in the car. You get in the car, you, you can have CNBC in the backseat of the car. And it, it understands you watch CNBC, you don't watch ESPN during the day. Well, and so this whole concept of tying all these signals together and all the products they're providing, it's not here yet, but you can you can point to the future of what this is going to look like. And it's it's an incredible opportunity for the company. Steve, I'm, I'm struck by your comment in the past that Amazon's trying to be a little bit like Switzerland to sort of yes. say, you know, we, we, we don't want to to have to choose sides too quickly and alienate potential customers right. as the customers themselves try to figure out who their friend and, and partner or not is. Yeah, and that's that's particularly on the cloud side, though. So they're taking a different approach than what we've seen from Microsoft and Google saying, if you want to develop these AI tools, come to us. We have the cloud. We're the biggest cloud provider. I will point out, though, there is a risk here because it, so much of it does hinge on AWS. By the way, the FTC is about to sue <laughs> Amazon on antitrust grounds, and AWS is going to be one of the targets. What's Stuff the like issue? what we're is talking about that. The fact that they're in so many different lines of business. Exactly, or? and that they own the pipes and the, the marketplaces, and all that together makes them an antitrust target for sure. So this could be a risk to them if. if with all this AI stuff, for sure. But just think about all the ways they do have pipes into us. I mean, he mentioned advertising. And look at advertising as this huge growth opportunity for Amazon. They've been growing so much faster than some of the other players. And they could really use AI to better target ads and even come up with ads. And this is something we're hearing some of the other ad players talk about Facebook. as well. But uh, Facebook talks about that a lot. But also, think about Alexa. Right now, my kids ask Alexa, tell me a joke. The jokes are not that great. But in the future, they'll be able to say, Alexa, tell me a knock-knock joke about this or that. And it might be really funny because I think that you're going to have this pipeline into people's homes. And all of those Alexa devices ultimately will be an interface for people to interact with, I, with I AI. I couldn't agree with you more, Julia. And Brent, I want to get your thought on this. If I think, and, and here's, this is opinion, not, not really fact. I think of the two um, software services that are indispensable to me. One is Google, but I'm telling you, Amazon probably is even more indispensable to me because of Amazon Prime and everything I can do and hook to it, including going to uh, Whole Foods, including buying whatever I want, whenever I want, including watching TV, including listening to all kinds of radio stations on my Amazon Echo. And I think that those interactions will become a lot more natural using those natural language, large language models. And so you're going to be able to have a conversation with your Alexa about what it is you want to buy, what you want to do without ever having to look at a screen. And Amazon's been talking about this for ages since Alexa first came on the scene. Yeah. That's the ultimate vision. They want that Star Trek computer that can do everything for you. They haven't really made much progress there. Maybe now they'll supercharge Brent, it. Brent, give us a last word and a last thought on the stock price and where it can go from here. We still think the stock's trending to 135 plus. It's had a huge move. It's outperformed every, every other uh, name and large cap that we cover this year quietly, even while Microsoft's had the attention. But they're getting their costs under control in the supply chain. AWS will rebound in the back half of the year into 24. We think margins continue to, to move slightly higher. Again, they're getting a lot of these issues under control uh, that they've been headwinds. And so we think we're at a, a point, hopefully we can stop cutting numbers 
numbers have stabilized and hopefully numbers can start to go up, especially on the bottom mm -hmm. line.